Here's how to make AI fireplace videos for YouTube. A year ago when we started, we had no idea what we were doing. But then after investing hundreds of hours and making video after video after video after video after video, we have found a process that is really simple and easy to follow that we're gonna be sharing with you today for free. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide to be able to recreate videos like this. But we're gonna share with you the process that has worked for us consistently and the programs that help make it happen. So this video is gonna be broken down into a four-part process. First, taking your idea and converting it into a really great fireplace image. Second, taking that image and converting it into a looping video clip. Third, making that into a full-length fireplace video. And then finally, fourth, exporting it with the correct settings and uploading it to YouTube. So let's get started. Part one, taking your idea and creating a wonderfully crafted AI image. So how do we do that? Well, I made this super simple GPT that is absolutely free linked in the description along with all the programs that we're gonna talk about today. But in this GPT, you just drop your ideas and it's gonna create an expertly crafted prompt. For example, let's say cozy cabin in the mountains, sunset, winter time, hit enter. So then in seconds, we have this prompt that we can simply go over here and tap copy. And then we're gonna to go to the program that we have found to be the most effective consistently, Midjourney. If you've never used Midjourney before, it's wonderful. It's that top tier AI image generator. So now we're gonna to go to the top, right click and hit paste of our prompt. And then before we hit enter or submit, we're gonna to go to the settings icon and we're gonna make sure it says 16 by nine. If not, tap landscape and you can use this slider to make sure it goes to 16 by nine. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit submit. Now at first you're not gonna see anything because you need to go to the left-hand side where it says create, tap that and you'll see your image starting to be generated. Once it's done, you're gonna have four options to pick from. You can tap on it and tap on your arrows to the right and to the left to see the different options. Once you find one that you like, I like this one, on the right-hand side, you're gonna to go to where you see upscale. If you don't see it, tap more options and you'll have the option to select upscale. We're gonna do subtle upscale. The subtle upscale means it's not gonna change the picture dramatically. It's just gonna increase the quality. So after you hit subtle upscale, you can go over to create again. Now we want the highest quality photo possible because when we give it to the video generator, we want it to be as realistic as possible. And here's our upscaled photo. So once it's done, you're gonna to go to the top right-hand corner where you see this little download button, tap it to download to your desktop. That looks pretty great. Now, sometimes it may not give you an image that you like off the bat, and that's completely okay because you have a few options. First, you can tap on the prompt and you can change any of the things here, but at least you have a template to go off of. Or if you're like, oh, I like this image, I just want like maybe a few other options that kind of look like this. Well, you can go down to where it says vary and you can vary slightly, like change slight things about it or kind of have like this overall structure, but do strong variance, meaning like it's going to change a lot of things about it, but it'll still have the same look and feel. So you can play around with those options there. Part two, taking your image and creating an AI looping video. Now, how do we do that? Well, the program that we have found to be the most effective and helpful is Kling AI. Again, the link is in the description, but once you're in here, you can simply go to video. And once you're here at the top, you're gonna see this place that has the different model versions. Now, to make it super simple, you wanna go for the best version, but the best version that has looping. And here's what looping looks like. You'll see a place where you can drop a starting frame and drop an ending frame. Right now, this, Turbo mode does not have it, so I'm going for the 2.1 version. So then once you're here, you simply tap on the start option, upload, tap on that high quality image that you downloaded, let it upload, and after it uploads to the start frame, tap on the end frame, upload, and do the exact same thing. And once it's completed, it'll look like this, where you have the start frame, the end frame, being the exact same image. Then you're going to go down to where the prompt is and say, fire slowly burning in the fireplace. Easy, right? Then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down a little bit more. We're not gonna do anything with this motion control. And where it says sound effects, you can turn that off unless you try it and you really like it. I have a different way to get the audio track of a fireplace that I'll show you in the next step. And then down at the bottom, you're gonna have a place that shows a time frame. You wanna tap that. And right now it shows five seconds or 10 seconds. I wanna choose the largest amount of time possible because when you're watching it on a TV screen and it's looping, if there's 10 seconds in between, it's less noticeable and feels a lot more realistic. So I chose 10 seconds. And under output, you can choose how many different versions you wanna see. I will say that the more versions you pick, the more it's going to cost in terms of credits. So what I normally do to save credits is I output one version at a time. And if it works, I keep it. If not, I try it again. Now, after you do that, you can simply hit generate. And then in a few seconds, it'll start generating. This says estimated time to wait two minutes. Kling also offers an option to turn on notifications so that if you wanted to go do something else while it's generating, it'll give you a pop-up when it's time to come back. All right, now that the video is done, let's go ahead and hit this full screen button and watch the loop. Okay, 
So I like it. However, you can see in the fire, there are some weird artifacts where it looks like there's some glass and it's just not necessarily burning quite the way real fires would. So I'm going to go ahead and generate another option. I don't need to change anything else. It saved my prior settings. So let's go ahead and hit generate. Now, this actually looks much better to me. Of course, I can keep generating iterations of it if I want, but I'm happy with this. So now to download this 10 second looping video, I go to this download button, make sure without watermark is on, and then I tap it and it'll download for me. And there's our looping video. Part two, complete. If this is working for you so far, please hit the like button to let me know. Part three, taking your 10 second looping video and turning it into a full length AI fireplace video for YouTube. So the next thing we're gonna do is go to YouTube to get sound effects for our fireplace. So you specifically wanna go to studio.youtube.com. Again, the link is in the description and log into your YouTube channel. Once here, you're gonna see audio library. Tap that and then go to sound effects. Now the best fireplace sound effect that I have found that's free to use, I'm gonna just tell you what it is. It's daytime forest bonfire. Now it's gonna be the fourth one down, three minutes and four seconds. And to get it, you just simply go to the right where it says download. Of course, you can look up other options if you want, like bird sounds, outdoor sounds, crickets, fireplace, whatever works for you. But now that we've downloaded the sound effect, it's time to put it together in the program that we have found to be the most helpful Final Cut Pro. Now there are tons of other programs out there. We have just found this one to be the most efficient, effective, and just quick to do it. Let me show you how. Now, before you get started, there is something you wanna do in Final Cut Pro to make sure that as you build this, it doesn't take up all of your storage space. So you wanna to go to Final Cut Pro at the top, tap on settings, go over to import, and make sure that it says leave files in place, and that where it says transcode, you have create optimized media and create proxy media disabled unchecked. Otherwise, it's going to take up so much of your storage space and you're going to need that in this next part. This is an old project that I had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to file, new, and new project. Let's go ahead and give it a name, cozy fireplace. You can place in whatever event you want. Make sure it says 4K. Also match the rest of these settings here, Apple ProRes, all of this, stereo, and then hit OK. So you'll be given a new timeline and what you want to do is grab that video that you downloaded and drag it in here. So by pressing spacebar, I can now watch the 10 second video. No fireplace sounds yet. So let's add it. So now I'm gonna get the daytime forest bonfire and drag it into the timeline. Now let's see how it sounds. I like it, it's coming together. Okay, so here's the thing. We have a clip for 10 seconds, but I like to make a nine hour video because if somebody's in the clock into work, Nine hours later, they're going to be leaving. And so when people go into work, they can put this on. And at the end of the day, when this is over, they know to go home. So how do we get this 10 second video to be nine hours long? Let me show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on this video on my keyboard, tap command C to copy it. And then I want to make sure that I am looping it perfectly. So what I'm going to do is on my keyboard, press the down button. It takes me to the end of the very last frame. And now I'm going to press command V to paste it. Okay. So. Now let's just double check to make sure that the video is looping perfectly. It should be, but we wanna make sure that we didn't accidentally put it a frame too early or too late so that it looks disjointed. All right, I like it. So here's what we're gonna do. We now need to take these two clips and turn them into a nine hour video. How do we do that? It's pretty simple. So first we're going to highlight both of these, Command C to copy them, and then remember we wanna drop it at the end of the last frame. So we're gonna press down till we see it at the edge of the last clip and then press Command V multiple times. Now, if you're watching here, this timeline, watch it continue to go up. So right now it's at four minutes, five minutes, nine minutes. I'm gonna stop at 10 minutes, okay? Because I don't wanna just keep pressing Command V until I get all the way up to nine hours. There's a better way to do it. So what we're gonna do is we are actually going to zoom out. So on your mouse, go like this, pinch down so that you can zoom out, okay? You can also use the command plus or the command minus button to go zoom in or zoom out. So now we're gonna highlight all of these top clips, okay? Command C to copy them. Click on the far right, outside of the clips, and then press the up button. That'll still jump to the last frame so that we can continue to press command V. And now we're doing increments of 10 minutes. So press this a few times, and now I got it to one hour. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more, copy all of them, Command C, tap to the right, press up, and Command V. 
two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours, seven hours, eight hours, nine hours. Okay, so now we have our nine hour video, at least for the videos. Okay, so now we need to do the same exact thing for the audio. So to do that, simply tap on it, hit command C to copy it, zoom in to the edge of that audio, and then tap it there and press the up key just to make sure we're at the, at the edge of the audio. Then tap command V to ensure that we are pasting the same exact audio, but that it also ends and starts perfectly. You see how there's no gap there. So now we're gonna zoom out and copy both of those audio pieces, okay? And we're gonna zoom in to the edge of that audio again, tap and then press the up key to make sure we're at the edge of that audio, okay? Edge of the audio. And then let's press Command V a couple of times until we can get to, let's say, one hour. There we go, one hour, seven minutes. So I'm gonna zoom out all the way so that I can see all the audio that we've done so far. I'm gonna highlight all of them, hit Command C to copy it, and then the final part, let's zoom in to the edge of that audio. All right, I'm gonna tap near the edge of that audio. I can see I'm also in the middle of the clip up there. I'm gonna press down to jump to the edge and then keep tapping Command V until I see nine hours. Okay, we jumped all the way to 10 hours, but as you can see, we ran out of video clips. So here's what we need to do. I like to end our videos about nine hours and one minute. All right, so now I'm gonna zoom out all the way so that I can see the timeline and I can see 10 hours. I wanna to get to nine hours and one minute. So there's nine hours. Let me tap there and zoom in and see where I can find nine hours and about one minute. There we go. So I'm gonna zoom in even more. And here's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna tap and now on my keyboard, I'm gonna press the B button to turn on the blade and I'm also gonna hold the shift key because when I tap right here, you see how it made a cut in the top and the bottom at the same time? If I now wanna zoom out all the way and delete all the remaining clips that were after that, I can now go all the way out, hold the shift key and tap the last thing at the edge of my timeline. And you see how it's all yellow? I can now hit delete, zoom in and confirm that the video and the audio end at the exact same time. Now I do like to sometimes watch the fireplace just for a few seconds to make sure that everything is working smoothly. And there we go, in your timeline you now have your nine hour video of your AI fireplace. This last part is so, so important and caused me so much frustration until I got this down right. So now I'm gonna walk you through the exact settings of how to export this so you don't run into any frustration and how to upload it to YouTube, making sure that it's optimized to find the most amount of people as possible. And of course, I have a shortcut on how you can do that well too. So let's dive into export settings. To do this, you wanna to go to the top right-hand corner where you have this share button, tap it, and I have this predetermined one that I have saved and you can add a destination and follow along if you'd like, but let me show you what the settings should look like. Under settings, what you want is to say format computer H264 multi-pass. This is very important. This multi-pass feature is gonna make sure that the system goes through it multiple times just to make sure there isn't any errors. When I put single pass, the file was much smaller and it took less time, but then I would get to the end of this and my video would glitch halfway through and no longer be a moving video. So please do multi-pass. Make sure that the resolution says 3840 by 2160, 4K, at least, in the TV world, it's ultra high definition. And then I also have the action at the end to be quick time player. That way after it's done exporting, it pops up on my computer to give me confirmation that it's ready. Now you see here in the bottom right hand corner, 204 gigs. Most of these video files are about that large. And so to make multi-pass work successfully, we need to have about a terabyte of storage available, either on our desktop or laptop, or what I have used is my external SSD drive. My laptop has one terabyte. And so if I wanted to do it only on my laptop, I would never be able to do anything else on it. It's the Samsung portable SSD. I did tons of research before getting it. So if you wanna use this, I'll link it in the description. So now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. You can see that I have a special place called Fireplaces and that I have one terabyte of data available. So now I'm gonna hit next, open the space in my Fireplaces folder and hit save. I can monitor the progress here in the top left-hand corner where it says sharing. This will take about eight hours to complete, but it'll be worth it because the export settings will work correctly. And at the end of this, you will have a fully fleshed out AI Fireplace video for YouTube. And we have a finished video, check this out. What I typically like to do is just scan along just to make sure that it works perfectly all the way through to the end. And it does. So now for the final part, 
uploading to YouTube. But like I told you, I have one more shortcut to help make things super easy. So first, while you're dragging along anywhere inside of this QuickTime player, hold Command and tap C, and we have now copied a screen grab of this image. And now we wanna go over to the GPT that I made for you, again, for free in the description. And where it says, ask anything, you're gonna Command V to paste the image, pretty neat, right? And then simply hit Enter. Now what this GPT does is it analyzes your image, gives you a title, a description, and then some tags that you can easily copy and paste over when uploading your YouTube video, making it really easy. So here are my settings when I upload. We go over to Create in YouTube Studio, upload a video, drop in the video that just finished, and now go back to the GPT results and copy and paste the information over. And for the thumbnail, you already have a high quality 4K video, so it's just gonna screen grab one of those images. Now for us, we also have a playlist called All Cozy Room Ambient, so if somebody wants to watch it back to back, they could, so you can do that if you'd like. It's also gonna ask, is this altered content? Is it AI? I always say yes. Scrolling down to tags, let's get the last piece. Copy the tags over. There we go. I always set the category to entertainment. Hit next. Since we're a monetized channel, we are gonna select that we are wanting to monetize. Select next. For the ad suitability, we don't go against any of these, so I'm gonna hit none of the above. Submit the rating. Hit next. Select next again. Next again. And when uploading any of these videos to YouTube, we always start with selecting private. Because after it uploads, it's still gonna need time to process the 4K resolution, which can take some time. So when I switch it to public, I wanna make sure that the 4K is immediately available, giving people the best possible quality. So after you have all that done, tap save, and then wait for it to upload. The time it takes here is gonna depend on your upload speed. For us, we recently switched to fiber, and if you wanna increase your upload speed, you can also get this adapter and plug directly into your router. So for me, instead of uploading through Wi-Fi, which might take four or five hours, this only takes one hour. And for reference, here are my upload speeds when I plug directly into the router. I'll link this in the description too in case it's helpful for you. And the video is done, uploaded and processed, no issues found. So let's check it out. Go to videos, let's open our video. It already picked a great image. Here you can add an end screen. And I typically pick this one, one playlist and one subscribe button. I put the subscribe button over here. For the playlist, I choose my cozy ambiance playlist and I save it. So let's play it quick just to make sure it's working. Looks pretty good. It says 4K, that's awesome. All right, so for the last piece of the puzzle, all we need to do is go from private to public, market is done, and save. So drop your 4K fireplace videos in the comments. I would love to check them out. If this is helpful, let me know by hitting the subscribe button. All the links and everything we talked about today, you can find in the description. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed how to make an AI fireplace video for YouTube. Have a great day.